Good morning, HyperChange. The delivery numbers are in for Tesla Q2. We are looking at 384,000 deliveries for the quarter, production of 410,000. Uh, these numbers are hot off the press. This is better than last quarter, but down 13% from Q2 a year ago. A lot of factors here at play to break down. Um, 337,000 vehicles delivered in Q1. That was a very bad quarter, the worst in years, but we did have the Model Y refresh. So now that the Model Y refresh has had time to ramp, those factories are up and running again. We've had sales rebound, which a lot of people who were you know, thinking it was going to be the worst case Elon Musk political implosion of sales has not happened. We've actually had a strong bounce um, of up from 337,000 last quarter to 384,000 this quarter. So that was a note of positivity in the numbers. But um, this was worth than Q2 last year where they delivered 444,000. And in Q2 2023 when they delivered 466,000. So 13% year over year decline in the quarter, but that isn't actually as bad as it seems because the actual whole vehicle industry and especially electric vehicles have been going through some tough times as well. Rivian just reported numbers this morning. They are down 22% year over year. Ford's electric vehicle division was down 31% year over year. So that's just to give you a flavor of actually in that sense, Tesla's down 13% year over year actually outperformed. Um, so the stock is up today. On this news, um, I think it's because you know the prediction markets, like I posted yesterday, were at 365,000 estimates. So 385,000 came in above that. Um, sales aren't imploding. There was also another strong quarter from energy, um, which saw installation of 9.6 gigawatt hours of energy products, which is down from last quarter, but it's still, if you look at the chart, generally a very, very strong number. And I want to highlight something else about the energy. Um, numbers as well that you can see over time the gross profit growth in services plus energy it's mostly energy though is beginning to offset the decline in automotive gross profit decline so you can see that the automotive gross profit of tesla and that blue has been shrinking while the energy and services have been sort of booming in gross profit so that's something that i expect to continue um, and will offset any declines in the vehicle's business so um, oh, one other thing to mention in the deliveries this quarter, only 10,000 of vehicle deliveries in other models. So that's SX and Cybertruck. That was a, no other way to slice it. That's a very weak number. Cybertruck sales aren't that good. The S and X refresh, maybe that'll help a little, but I think everyone's just buying the new Model Y. Um, the Cybertruck, oh, I think it's so cool. But unfortunately, I, th I do think the politics have had a big impact on the Cybertruck demand. Um, because people, it's just so bold and out there, people just associate it with Elon. I think that will fade, but it's interesting to see what they're going to do with the Cybertruck program, because that originally was supposed to have 250,000 units a year um, of deliveries, but now it's looking well short of that, but could take time. Maybe they make it cheaper. Maybe they just wait it out. I don't know. I still love it and think it's an insanely cool, iconic vehicle, but it's not moving the needle on Tesla's sales right now. So the other big thing that happened this quarter was robo taxi deliveries. Obviously, I just got back from Austin, um, which I think was, it went so smoothly and perfectly. We almost haven't heard a peep. It's been eerily quiet about robo taxi deliveries, but um, they probably delivered or successfully completed a few thousand rides this quarter alone. That is set to ramp. I think all eyes are on how fast that robo taxi program ramps. I know they've expanded it beyond the initial people. They're inviting people in that Austin area. They haven't expanded the geofence yet, um, but that is something I'm watching closely. So I really believe more people are watching the robo taxi um, rollout versus the deliveries right now for Tesla. But an interesting thing to tie those both together, I believe that the success of robo taxi will drive demand for Tesla's vehicles. Because like, even now I'm like, wait, I have a, I'm in my robo taxi right now. This is a great place to record the video, but um, I'm in my 2020 Model Y and my friend Julian, he has a 2025 Model Y. And I, now every time I see his car now, I'm like, oh, he has a robo taxi. So I think once people realize like how I could literally basically buy a robo taxi for 50 grand from Tesla, like this is gonna cause sales of vehicles to go viral. Won't even just be robo taxi that becomes so valuable. But this idea that I can buy a Tesla that drives itself is gonna be a huge driver of sales. Or that's just one of my theories. I'm curious to know what you think. So um, very curious to hear where sales go from here. I do think we're gonna have an overall decline in deliveries from last year, 1.7 something million, probably gonna be a little lower than that this year. Um, will there be new cheaper models coming out? We keep getting rumors about that. Tesla kept talking about it, but it doesn't look like it's happened. So that is up in the air. Um, 
Tesla is kind of in this state of flatlining sales. They're not imploding anymore. They're staying flat around one and a half, one point six million a year, 80, 80 something billion in revenue. Um, where do they go from here is going to be very interesting. Um, when does that robo taxi growth start to accelerate the top line? Um, I'm all ears to what you think of the comments below. But overall, I thought these numbers were actually better than expected from Tesla. We bounced back from last quarter. Um, demand is not vanishing. Um, I think more and more people are going to see the Model Y on the roads. It looks amazing. It's an incredible product. You got the Robo Taxi tailwind. Um, I think deliveries keep going up from here. But let me know what you think in the comments below. This is Hyperchain. See you all next time. Peace.